Hello everybody, I'm John Evans and you're watching another episode of Mid Mod Money, the show that teaches you how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Happy Monday, everybody. Thanks for being here for the heavily anticipated part two of our haul from the citywide garage sale end of summer days in Rossville, Indiana. And uh, we have uh, the middle part, 20 through 11. We're counting backwards the 30 best things I found. So this is 20 through 11 of uh, what I found there in rural Indiana. And I want to point out that uh, last week I said this glass mushroom was worth ah, 26, 24, 30 bucks. Uh, it's actually Viking glass. My research guy slash fiance pointed out to me that right after I put the video out, she was like, hey, dummy, uh, this is Viking glass. And they made a couple different sizes of these, and this is the smallest one. And they sell on eBay between $90 and $120 each. Wow. So, yeah, I said, oh, it's worth about 25 bucks. Survey says, eh. This is a $100 mushroom that I paid 3 bucks for. Thank you, Indiana. Now, in that same, from that same person, same garage sale, they had this, Basset Hound. And this is marked Viking Glass. That's how it's hard to tell. So this would be the uh, 20th best thing I found. The Basset Hound at 20 Paid about three bucks for him, and he's worth twenty-seven or thirty. But my uh, fiance slash uh, research guy said, "You know what? I think I'm going to put this in my collection of basset hound." She has some really funny large basset hound, so this will go right in with that. And it's the cost of doing business because she's the one who made sure I didn't make a seventy-dollar mistake. People who commented too. There was a few commenters who said, "Oh no, no, that mushroom is." Worth more than $25. All right. The 19th best thing I found. Sticking in glass. This. You see this? See that stamp? Who that is? No, no. It is not Jesus of Nazareth. That there is a Viking. That's called a Viking medallion. And this was uh, made by a company. Don't make it obvious. Uh, Homeguard. This is Danish. I got this for a dollar, one dollar, in some guy's garage, one dollar, and I knew it was something because of that stamp, that kind of Viking stamp, and uh, yeah, this is Danish, 60s, uh, this is worth about 30, 35 dollars, this is just a liquor decanter, now had this been orange, doubles the price, this is considered a smoked glass, it's not dingy, it is a smoked glass, Orange, 60 bucks. So keep an eye out for that weird Viking stamp. Danish, Homeguard. Next thing I found for a dollar in someone's garage. Holy smokes. Are you kidding me? The Magnificent Mumford. This book where he makes Grover. They have pineapples disappear. This is a early 70s Sesame Street book, still intact. Look at this. Paid a buck for it. It's probably worth $15 to $20. Uh, ephemera, Sesame Street ephemera. This stuff gets destroyed, so to find it in this good a shape, pretty rare. I was excited about this because Sesame Street was my... That's my... Uh, my touchstone as a child, the Sesame Street franchise. All right, next thing I found. It's actually given to us. This, on our way out the door, our uh, our gracious host, my fiance's sister, who we stay with, and we all, we all do this uh, garage sailing. Her son said, I got some old stuff. Do you want this? I've been putting it aside. I've been finding stuff. He found these two ashtrays 1960s ashtrays this one is insane it's very dirty this one's insane this one is very nice as well 25 30 dollars so like 55 dollars and i said you gotta let me give you some money for this he's like no nope, take it get it away put it on your show so here we are as the what 18th 
best thing that I found in Indiana when I spent a week there scouring for treasures. $55 for free. Thank you for that. All right, next thing I found. Actually, I think my fiance found these. Now, who has heard of the expression, I was so drunk, I was seeing pink elephants? I have never in my years heard, heard of this, but apparently it's a thing. And these glasses are from the 1930s, maybe 40s, by Federal Glass. And these pink elephants, I guess that was part of the, just a catch, not a catchphrase, but just part of the, you know, I was so drunk, I was seeing pink elephants. That was a thing, and I'd never heard of it, but we got six of these. I don't know if you can see this, for the low price of $5. And these are pretty rare. They have highball, lowball, they have decanters. Uh, this was a whole set, very old. Some people try to get an arm and a leg for these. I'm going to try to get 40 bucks for the six because I like them. I just don't know if enough people know about them. So 40 bucks off of $5. All right, uh, next thing I found, very unusual item. You ready for this? Very unusual item. This is... A trivet, but it also has a thing you can hang on the wall. This is Bennington Pottery. I had never heard of Bennington Pottery, but I love this design. And the reason I love it is because it's stamped 1563 on the back, which is their design Crazy Owl by uh, David Gill, who was the founder of Bennington Pottery, who made stuff 1948 to, to into the 2000s, I think. But this is probably a 70s, 80s design. And uh, the ones that I could find on eBay, they tend to be in the $30 to $35 price range. I don't know if it's a wall hanging. I don't know if you want to use this as a trivet, an actual trivet. But it's handmade, worth about $30, $35 off of two or three. I think I paid three bucks for that. So... We are moving. Next thing I found. Couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe the price. Oh, jeez. Who wants an old chrome blender? I do. This was a dollar. This is a Sears Lady Kenmore. Look at that control panel. Very futuristic. Has that one dent on the front. That small, tiny little dent, dimple even, you could call it. But other than that, it's nice. For a buck, an old blender like this, these sell for $35. But yeah, it's true. $35 to $40 even. Someone might want this to use. Someone might want just a cool vintage kitchen accessory. Either way, I paid a dollar for a $35 blender. All right, next thing I found at the Goodwill... In West Lafayette, I believe, how much? $3.99, God bless our house. This cross stitch, beautifully done. Not signed, not dated, but it's in great shape. I'd like for this to be signed and dated so you can truly get the scope of how old this is. This could be 70s or 80s. Still very nice uh, because it's hand done. It's worth about 30 35 dollars all right we're down to our last couple things i think we are next thing i found at the goodwill more yarn art these big yarn arts with colors and flowers very hot i've mentioned this before they always sell this one's probably in that 40 buck range yeah believe the big size ones they'll go for and if this was even a little nicer, not that this isn't nice, but this is, I'd usually, I'd like to see a date and a name that would make it a little bit cooler to me, but I think it's probably, probably 60, 70, somewhere in there and worth almost, yeah, 40 bucks. Let's call it $40 on the yarn art. All right. I keep think I'm forgetting something, but I've got everything. This, so this must be the 11th best thing I found. Now this, I'm just going to say this. 
a mere five minutes ago, this was working perfectly. And I had it set up. I had the oil inside of it. And it stopped working during the first take. And what this is, is a dolphin oil lamp. Rain, rain lamp, whatever you want to call it. But this thing was working perfectly. Rain droplets. You could see the pump working. Everything was great. It's kind of starting to work again, but uh, I wanted this to be the, this was the closer. This was the 11th best thing that I found for $5. And these, ra these rain lamps have a resale value of 100 bucks. Even the newer ones like dolphins and giraffes. See, I have one in the back with the goddess. That's a 60s one. That's worth probably $200. This dolphin, they sell on eBay for 90, 100 bucks. But right before the show, or actually during the first show, it just stopped working. And as you can see, it's struggling to work again. And it might start working again. I might have, I, I know I don't have too much oil in this. But uh, it could be a bad pump. They sell pumps online you can go on ebay find a pump for these i didn't want to mess with all this not for five dollars so i can't say for sure if it works perfectly it's worth a hundred dollars in this condition ha huh, you have a messy basement that's what you have oil all over the floor let's see i spent 26 bucks on everything you saw 26 dollars at flea markets and i mean garage sales and a few goodwills when it's all said and done through my booths at the antique mall a little bit of ebay maybe some facebook marketplace i'm looking at 440 dollars off of 26 bucks that could be cut by 100 if this rain lamp doesn't work but such is the life of a reseller dealing with vintage goods uh i'd appreciate it if you guys hit like because we're doing this again next monday got a uh a free vintage giveaway coming up soon Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget, always round up.